everybody, it's Kathy with Plan Happy With Me. If this is your first visit here, welcome. I hope you like how we're starting off the new year with a, a new introductory card and some newer, faster layouts. If So let's get started. We are going to be accepting the challenge from Planable January 2023 for the week of 123 called Woodland Winter. This is going to be in my dashboard planner that I use as all about my house. Now I'm going to be using an out of date planner, so I'm redating it, which I like because I really like using the date covers. And um, I'm using a Planable called Woodland Winter from Grand Plans on Etsy. And this makes the dashboard layout very quick and easy. I can put the pieces exactly where they need to go and just get my layout complete. So we're gonna go ahead, push this one off to the side and look what I did. I have the piece somewhere. I haven't found it yet, so eventually I will get it back on but for now we're going to work without it so we're going to get started here I am going to you know this Mickey is kind of blue so I might keep him this is a Disney planner and for the most part this is going to be a Disney book all year I'm not going to commit to every single week being a Disney one um because I like following the challenges, but I'm going to put in as much Disney as I can. So maybe we'll leave him because he's the right color. And of course, we'll leave the little Mickey heads. I am going to take the ears off the top of this one with some white out. Because um, the, the sticker that goes here doesn't quite go high enough. So we'll go ahead and pull this and we'll just get started now i have to say that dashboard and i have not been friends um part of that is because i really don't like um this side i've played with it for the last three months of 22 and i've come to the conclusion that i can make this side be whatever and just learn to write it down and live with it if I don't put anything on this side well then I guess I wasted some stickers but I and it's going to be a hit or miss how much of this side I actually going to use because I'm not always going to have the things I'm going to put on this side available that I need to write in okay I'm not always going to have things to buy I'm not always going to have people to contact um, and I'm always going to have things to do. And that is part of the reason I don't like this planner because I don't like the blank pages. But I have decided that um, if I don't have any of those goals, then it's okay to have it blank. And maybe at the end, I'll put a quote there or I'll write a memory for that week or something um, because I didn't have anything I had to buy or anything that needed to be um, anybody to contact. So that's just how I'll, I've decided to accept this side. And then there are a few things that I'm gonna do on this side that would be um, uh, more like a Franken plan where I can add scrapbook paper or something that I feel um, will be, um, that'll work for my theme. So speaking about theme, if you didn't see in my, my last video, this is a chart that I made for the items I either purchased or I'm going to print for the entire year for my dashboard. And I have it all figured out. And I had to do that because I couldn't keep track of the items I was purchasing on Black Friday. And I really love it. Um, what I'm going to do with that is I am going to... Um, all the weeks that are blank, I'm probably going to use scrapbook paper that week or I'll be creative and use um, something else. 
and um, uh, more Disney on those weeks. And uh, like here, this is the perfect Pocahontas page. So I might add a Pocahontas to this page and that way um, I have a little Disney on this page. Now, I can just say it has Disney because I didn't take that Mickey off, but that's not enough for me to say, oh, you have Disney on the page. And again, it is not going to be Disney every single week. Love it. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the other side. I am probably just going to write on here um, to do, to buy, to contact. I don't seem to have a sticker and in the future I'm actually going to be printing it on these boxes. <clears throat> so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write on it. Oh, you know what? But she doesn't have a contact one. Let me see. Um, I know Cal of a Plan has some planner word stickers, so I'll look at that and, um, and come back. So now we're going to come over here and we're going to work on the side that I tore. And um, I like this box for decor in my house planner. It would be a good place to put uh, what we're doing about food, but I put what I ate in my All About Me planner. So you really don't do food planning. My husband is not good with that. He'll say, oh, that doesn't sound good to me tonight. I don't want it. And then we don't have a plan. So <clears throat> it's better for us just to have what we need in the fridge. And oh, that sounds good. Let's have that tonight. So that's, that's how we plan. I do usually make a shopping, a plan for like six, eight weeks out and we'll go to Costco and buy all our groceries and then that way I have the groceries for those items that we need. I only shop at Costco and I only shop about every four to six weeks. Um, I save the most money by not going once a week and I buy in larger quantities because that, again, saves me more money. So, yeah. Now I'm going to put this up here because it's not 2022. Remember, I'm redating this planner. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you one of how I plan to do this. This has a big gap here and I think that looks a bit funny. So I'm going to pull it over and put the number on top. These are clear stickers, so for the most part they do lift off. I was trying to be proactive in the slower parts of the end of 22. And so I redated this planner. And I told myself as I was redating it, don't do that. You know there's going to be an issue. I did it anyways. So we are now pulling up numbers and reattaching them. So I'm just going to put this one on here so you can kind of see my plan. There we go. And I'm going to put this one back on here. And I'm okay that it's a little big. I actually kind of like it. So, yeah. So now I'm going to do the rest. And I will be right back. Okay, so I got all of the date covers put on. And I wanted to show you that the hole punch, I did print out little dots to match. Mojo's blue is not dark enough and the black is not the color I want. So I'm going to be searching to try to find, oh, I wonder about gray. I didn't even think about gray. We'll try that. Um, but you can see where I printed the dots. And the only punch I have is this little handheld one. And it, even though it does punch, it will take forever and it's not really punching very nicely you can see where it didn't punch very nice so I'm not going to be using printable dots I have a Cricut I have not figured out how to use the new one yet um, 
and to print it first really makes me nervous. I know everybody's doing it. I just nervous about it because I haven't done it yet. Anyways, um, I really need the task dots here and that has been a bit of a challenge to find since I can't print them. Well, I can print them, I can't punch them. So I think what I'm going to do is um, go find a quote and look at the gray dots and I will be right back. Okay, so I went and created a, a quote for to put down here, and I redid this sticker up here, which now for some reason it's much bigger, but we will just work with it. I added a quote and a couple little critters, and I cut out a couple of little deco to kind of place around the page. So we're gonna do that real quick, and then we're gonna say, Good night and thank you for visiting. You know, if you're having a hard time finding quotes, you can, I just put into my Google search quotes about, and I literally put winter woodland, woodland animals, winter woodland. And um, pleasantly surprise yourself with what will come up. And then I just stick it into Oh, no, 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 don't do that. Come on. Thank you. Um, into Photoshop and move it around so it does what I want it to do. Now, my grandson has joined me, so you are going to hear a lot of noises because he doesn't know how to sit quietly, LOL. Um, and uh, we'll be done here in just a second. And... This is a clear sticker. The beauty of the clear sticker is you can beat it up a bit when you're cutting it because it's not going to show. Okay, there we go. And now I know that it fits in my box because I do it in Photoshop. And this, I do not know why it is bigger. I am a little bit bummed about that because I like that it fit inside perfectly. But... I can't change.